Now we are going to understand what is set interval method in JavaScript. This method is used when you want to execute some process after every certain period of time. For example, I want to execute a message, maybe a function after every one second. So I will say show message. That's a function name, which I'm going to create in a moment. And after every 1000 milliseconds, that is after every second, I'm going to execute this function. So let's create the function also. I'll say function show message. I'll just put a simple line here, console.log. And let's try to display a variable. And this variable I want that this gets incremented after every second. So I'll just say var cnt is equal to zero. So initially I'm going to declare a variable with zero which I want to display and after every second I'm going to increment this variable right so I'll say counter plus plus it's a counter it's a variable so let's just run this and see what happens if you observe in the console after every second there is a new counter getting displayed so set interval does its job after every second the function is called counter is displayed and it gets incremented by one now there is a minor issue in this piece of code and that is as you can see in the console this keeps on displaying the counter it doesn't stop anywhere of course let's say you have a program where you have something like clock which keeps on displaying the new time then you do not need to stop the interval but assume that you have a situation where you want to stop the interval if you want to do that then you have to use a method called clear interval. Let's say I want to clear the interval. If I write the clear interval method here, it will stop it immediately. So let me do one thing. Let me just copy this code and just shift to some other window where you don't see the counter getting incremented. Here I'm going to write the clear interval method. Now this method takes a parameter that is a reference of the interval. So for example, here, the interval which we have, that can be written like this. I'll say, for example, object is equal to set interval. Now what this will do, this will create the interval and the reference is assigned to a variable called obj. Actually, that's an object. Now the object contains the reference of this particular interval, which you can pass here to clear the interval. Now in this code, if I write or if I execute this, it will stop the interval immediately because it's going to clear it. So to make sure that it clears it after some time, what we can do is I can put an if condition here. I'll say if counter, let's say reaches to maybe six, then I want to stop the interval, right? So I'll put curly brackets, better to have proper indentation with the coding, right? So I'll put brackets and add some spaces here. So now if you observe, we have the counter beginning with zero, the interval returning the reference also, which we did not write in our previous example, because there was no need to stop it. There was no need to stop the interval, but now we want to stop it. So we are taking the reference of that interval in object, and then we are passing that object in the clear interval method. So let's try this. If I just start running, you will see that after every second, counter is getting incremented it means the show message function is getting executed but i have returned counter reaches to six stop it so counter reaches to six so it has stopped it is displaying till five because we are incrementing the counter after we are displaying it so it stops the interval so this is how you can stop the interval if you want in short set interval is a method which you use to execute a process after given number of milliseconds you can also write the function like this this is inline anonymous function right so some people you would see using this syntax but generally if you have a bigger function you have more lines then you should write the function separately to make the code more readable more manageable